What's up guys, Mr. System. <coughs> Bring you guys another video. Today I'm showing you what's in my tackle bag. It's not working as I planned. There we go. First off, just stuff that I have lying around. Strand 10 pound. Use this for leader line of my ultralight. Sadly, the rod broke, so don't need it anymore. Uh, this rolled all the way away. But for when I'm catfishing, let me clear this up quickly, but I have 50 pound leader line that I use, mono. Uh, why does this have to come unrolled in my tackle box in my bag, sorry. This is just so annoying. I gotta get some like scotch tape or something. So oh, great. Well I have a salt water lure that's not in my salt water box for some reason. Completely disorganized guys. I just got some probably ribbon tails. This is actually what I caught my, not my PD smallmouth that I caught this year, but last year I caught a three and a half pounder on these. And that happened to be my PD for that year. Um, got random little swim bait, a little bit of line still attached. Got the plugs for my raft for when I do go fishing. Possibly a video coming soon. The random little swim bait that's probably between this bag right here by Big Bite Baits. I'm gonna drop that back in there. Still good, I'll still use it. I got some Uncle Josh's floating trout nuggets. Orange sparkle. Uh, Airheads gum package. That's not fishing tackle. I got some bait from a company I love, Potsky Bait. Their bait is, well, fire. These happen to be their fireballs. Um, just These are their brown trout ones. They're not garlic scented, they're just brown trout, trout eggs. But they're obviously they're not actual trout eggs. I got some Rage Tails, obviously coffee scented, that I got from my MTV. Got some bruiser baits, top waters, um, soft plastic frogs. Got three of those. Who so gave me a pack of four? I got the patch kit for the boat. Always keep that in there. Some biospawn plasma tails that came with MTB. Green pumpkin. So that's it for just, oh wait, no, that's not it for just floating around stuff. Uh, we got some old line scissors. Look oh, at stink bug. Oh, he's still alive. We gotta kill him. Charles. Get on the boot with that little buddy. I just found out that there's no paper towels in my paper towel holder. Wonderful. Just got another loose big bite bait. Somehow package out of me. This year is just a terminal tackle bin. Some of this stuff is mixed in with my other boxes, but I got jig heads, more jig heads, spit shots, weighted hooks, trebles. Worm hooks, the one toad hook I have left, I gotta get some more. Minnesota hooks, beads, line clippers, bobbers, swivels. That's it for that box. I gotta get more bobbers and um, weights. Um, one thing that should have fallen out that did not, that's probably in another pouch, is this here. I can't fit it inside my hook spin, so I just keep it regularly. Some eagle claw hooks. 
I use the bigger ones for minnows. Um, yeah, check these other pouches. Or no, I really only need to show you guys one other thing that's inside of here. That is this. My ultralight reel. I don't have a rod anymore because it broke. Hashtag screw you, Anthony and Aiden. Even though I know it wasn't your fault, that's just a joke. Still, so, your garage that garage door that did it. Um, in here I got my soft plastics and my jigs. Um, I don't know my spinner bait is in here. That should be in my box. And yes, I do run it plain like this because what I do is take one of the big bite baits. I put it on there right like this. Oops. And then get it right in the meaty section. I just pull the hook out. The hook thing is. I just finish threading that on there. Like that. Sometimes it works better than a regular skirt. Is. Sometimes it works better than the skirted straighter weight. Sometimes it doesn't. All depends on how the fish are biting. Now I'm going to set this right there. So that way there, I can put it inside my box. This proper one. Next, I got my little brother's tackle box I keep in here for him. He lets me share my lures. I share his lures. I share my lures with him. He shares his with me. It all works out in the end. He has some, like, grubs. Um... <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. He actually has a lizard. I've never caught a bass in a lizard, but he has managed to. He has a stringer because he likes to eat the fish. Some hair jigs, some jig heads with grubs. Some weird earring I guess he found. Um, the rooster tail, a little halfway drop shot worm, a little lucky nickel. Because he keeps that in there because it was his lucky nickel. Because he found it on the ground, picked it up, put it in here. Because he was wearing shorts with no pockets, so he just threw it in there. And he ended up catching a four pounder on it. And it was a space PB. And then here we got my crankbait slash spinnerbait box. Or crankbait slash top water slash spinnerbait. Oh, I have some little Strike King minis. My stringer. Top water frogs, crankbaits, spinners, rooster tails, my Danny the duck, my buzz baits, my spinner bait right in here. Um, these here are some of those little like tiny little Walmart creek baits that I just thought were cool, so I bought them. I actually catch a lot of bluegill on that little one there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my tackle box. I have another one, but there's barely anything in it. Um, I actually will show you one other one that I have right next to me. This box. Take these here out of the way. It is my salt water box. Right there. Got my scale, but that's gonna go in my back of my freshwater box. Um, these octopus hooks here are really good for minnows, so I'm going to take these here out and use these tomorrow because I'm going out on my raft more than likely. Got some big swivels, some bobbers, which I actually need, so I will take those if I don't throw them. Um, some old leader lines, some, oh, another little octopus hook, which I just hooked myself with. It was just a barely hooked me, but still doesn't feel good because those are some sharp hooks. Feels like this one here's already rigged up. There's already got a line attached to it. I'm gonna see what attached what is attached. Alright, that's can just stay, I guess. This whole thing's a mess here. I don't like bring this one out on my boat for a steak kit. Yeah, I just got some lures, some little snapper poppers, some jigs. Some really old bluefish jigs. I got two of these. Some diamond jigs, some big swivels, more little tiny jig things. Oh, another octopus hook. Some replacement eyes for a couple rods that my neighbor gave me. 
because it was after her husband passed away. Some more like hooks down here. Um, more diamond jigs, spoons, all that. So, spook the dogs. But I'll let you guys go. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join me for next time. Peace.